Very keen. Very keen. Mm. Look at you all pushing. Mm. With you all pushing, I can't undo this bit of string. Mm. It's tightened because of your pushing. Mm. Ah, it's very tight. Mm. Look at you all milling around and pushing. Yeah, Kestrel, can you just calm yourself down? Okay, now, whoops. There we go, all in. Count sheep, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. They're all here. Now, the other day, when I had um, Bosco Garden fellow come and visit and collect some tadpoles, I noticed because it's been so dry that the tadpoles were out of the water, or sorry, not the tadpoles, but the spawn, frog spawn. So, I am gonna push it into the water as gently as possible with this big old snow shovel. You can see this pond is very big and it's also uh, frosty weather is coming, but this is all a huge amount of frog spawn just in here. That's all frog spawn, tons and tons of it. And the water has actually come up from last night's rain, but not enough that I'm worried that we'll, the frog spawn won't survive. So what I'm gonna do is take some of it and push it down this cha channel where the water's a bit deeper. And yes, there's lots of corvids and other birds that we eat, but look at the frog spawn. There's so much, of it, so much of it, it's all there, going all the way up over there. It looks like mud, but if you get in close, you can see that's all frog spawn. And there's so much of it that um, I'm worried it'll freeze in the freeze that's coming tonight. So I'm gonna move some of it into the deeper water where it'll be protected twofold, one from the frost and two from too much corvid or bird predation. So that's the aim. What are you guys doing? And there's a water tank here as well, but that's the sheep will drink out of that when this, uh, during drought times when this is empty. So it's a combination. You can see the sheep are still over there eating their meal. So here is some more. You can see with this white shovel, you can see the black dots and those are the fertile eggs of this frog spawn. And what I'm doing is spreading it into here so they have a better chance of not being frozen and um, producing babies, turning into tadpoles and then into small frogs. So there's now loads of frog spawn floating around in here and there's loads of it pushed into this section. And so I've spread it out uh, all in the same area. So hopefully that will result in a good population of baby frogs for future generations. Normally, this is so full of water 
that I wouldn't be concerned and I would leave the frog spawn in that area. But the other day it was really shallow and no water and I was beginning to get worried about them. So this is called, you know, farming, farming for nature, making sure that the spawn has what it needs to a large percentage to survive as well as um, uh, that for other animals to predate on. It's a combination, it's a fine combination. And when there's so little in the environment, you want to help it as much as possible. So there's frog spawn up there, there. I've pushed some into there and I've put some into there. And with that, there should be babies when uh, they hatch. Hey kitty, how are you? Little magpie. She's made an appearance while I'm moving frog spawn. Isn't that right, dogs? Yeah. So I've moved loads of frog spawn now into here, which is great. And that job is now done to protect next year's frog population. And for those who say I don't know what I'm doing, I've been doing this for years. So our frog population is lovely and healthy, always protecting the frog spawn. I think the sheep are all done with their meal. Their mineral bucket is fine. Hey girls. How are you? Ah. Yeah. How are you, Crystal? Come on. No. Oh, look at you. You have a bit of bramble attached to the arse end. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch that. Are you all gonna let me get in there? without kicking me. Oh, caught ya. Okay. Ah, ah. Leave it, leave it. Brindle, leave her be. Now. Back her up. And stick my foot. Oh, dang. I'm helping your granddaughter. I'm not abusing her. I'm trying to get rid of the bit of bramble. And you coming and pushing into me did not help. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn off the video and catch her with two hands. All better. Caught and taken the bramble out from between her legs and it was wound up her tail. And these two screaming at me because they thought I was hurting her. I wasn't hurting her at all. I wasn't hurting her. I was fixing her. You're very silly feathers. Okay? Your daughter's fine now, okay? You okay, Blackbird? Okay, come on. Nope, time to go, come on. Out. Come on. Come on. I know. You're... Come on. Out. Back out into the field. Come on. Come on, girls. Out of girls. I know. You want to go into the daffodil field? You're not allowed to go into the daffodil field. Go on. 
Atta girl, Maya. Come on. There's hay and a mineral lick and you get fed meal. Come on. Okay, job done. You never know what you're gonna do in a day. Frog spawn, feed sheep, normal, and pull brambles out of baby alpaca. The things you do.